Texas is the sleeping giant. And I, you know, I've been wondering, we've always said Texas is not a, a red state. Texas is not a purple state. Texas is a blue state because the average Texan is a progressive except for those on the borderlines. And let me tell you, the, the sort of voting that we're seeing in Texas now corroborates that. Check this out. In an election year where how you cast your ballot could mean putting your health at risk, states have looked to creative voting measures to get people safely to the polls. But in some places, the expanding voting access has come with increased pushback. The clerk of Harris County, Texas, the county that includes Houston and over 2 million registered voters, has asked the Texas Secretary of State for assurance that the votes that are cast in the county's drive-in voting initiative, where you can actually cast your ballot from inside your car, will count come election day. This comes after an election guidance letter published last week by the Texas Attorney General cautioned officials against drive-in voting, saying, quote, if COVID-19 does not render a voter physically unable to cast a ballot inside a polling place without assistance. This is not the first challenge to drive-in voting. Last week, a judge dismissed a lawsuit from the Texas Republican Party that attempted to halt the program altogether. I'm joined now by Houston County Clerk Chris Hollins. I'm trying to understand the downside of allowing drive-in voting, and I can't figure it out. Do you know what the real issue is with the Texas Attorney General? Uh, the real issue, Chuck, is that people are voting. Uh, we've seen over 800,000 voters here in Harris County alone make their voices heard at the poll, uh, and that number seems to scale the attorney general. Uh, you know, drive through voting is completely legal under the Texas Election Code. Uh, it takes place inside a movable structure, which the Texas Election Code uh, clearly uh, contemplates. But we're asking the Secretary of State to come out of the shadows here uh, and make clear to Texas voters that their votes are going to be counted. You're asking for the Secretary of State for some clarification. Did you view the AG's letter as more of an intimidation tactic than an actual legal notice? Well, it's certainly a threat. Uh, and these cases filed by the Republican Party are absurd, but because so many votes are at stake, we have to take them seriously. And the Texas Secretary of State has a statutory duty to advise and assist county election officials on election matters. And our offices have worked very well together throughout this election season until conspicuously they went silent in the past few days. Did you get pre-clearance for this drive-through uh, voting option? Uh, we did. I mean, we've looked at a number of opportunities to expand access to the polls for Harris County voters. Uh, but the, te the Texas Secretary, Secretary of State's office uh, made clear to us that the structure that we were using uh, would be okay. And in fact, the state director of elections has testified under oath uh, that drive-through voting uh, is okay as long as all voters have equal access to drive-through voting centers. And so we've certainly held up our end of the bargain. Voters love it. About 10 percent of Harris County voters have cast their votes at drive through voting centers. But now the state Republican Party, the Harris County Republican Party, and now it seems the attorney general uh, are trying to disenfranchise those voters. Have they given any sort of other rationale? They said it might not count because they said it doesn't meet this this uh, disability requirement. Uh, is there some fan phantom fear of voter fraud here? I mean, is there something I'm missing here that would make this fraught with peril? You're not missing anything. Uh, the check-in process at these voting centers is exactly the same as it is everywhere. You show a valid uh, voter ID uh, that is checked and confirmed against the voter rolls, and then you're allowed to vote on, a, on the same voting machine that everyone else uses. Uh, you just happen to be doing so conveniently and safely. And so voters are thrilled at this opportunity, and so many voters have appreciated the, uh, the way that we've allowed them to vote safely. Uh, the fear here is that voters are voting. Uh, that is what our attorney general doesn't like to see. Uh, and clearly the, the Texas Republican Party shares it. If these votes get deemed illegal or against regulation and, and somehow you're told you have to change your way. If I'm living in Houston and I did this drive in voting and I'm watching this segment, I'm going, oh, no, are they going to throw out my ballot? We're confident that this it was well within the bounds of the law that every vote that is cast through drive through voting will be counted like every other vote. And again, this is a third lawsuit. But because so many votes are at stake, we are taking it seriously. Uh, we have filed multiple briefs now with the Texas Supreme Court. Uh, and we expect that the Texas Supreme Court will do its job uh, and uphold uh, the sanctity of these voters' votes here in Harris County. Uh, you know, we look down on efforts to scare voters, uh, to confuse voters. Uh, and anything like that, we're not going to stand for. And the voters have made that clear by coming out in record numbers. Uh, they don't like to be messed with. They want to have their voices heard. Uh, and they're doing so, uh, again, in record here in Harris County in November of, of 2020. We spend a lot. Absolutely so. So you see what's happening. 
the sleeping tiger is starting to wake up. We think it's going to be completely awake by November 3rd, but if it's not, no matter what the case is, it's waking up. And here is the deal. They are so scared. They are putting in all kinds of restrictions to try to slow down the vote. Now, this they can't win this one, but what they can do is put the fear of people, maybe I shouldn't go vote because I don't know if my vote's going to count. Folks, Everybody go out there, whether you go in the lines or whether you go in the car. If you can go to the grocery store, you can vote. You can stand in that line and vote, or you can go in your car and vote here in Harris County. But make your voices heard, because until we do that, to show that what has been done in this country for all these years have simply been minority rule, let's finally allow America to see what America stands for. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.